Hello and welcome everybody, I am Adam the Silly Host and this is Chicken Police once again. The end is nigh. The dead walk among us. Uh, greetings to you too, madam. Are you surprised to see us? I must admit I am a little. But I also must admit I'm relieved. <laughs> yes. Relieved? <laughs> Wasn't it you who put us on a burning ship by any chance? No, it wasn't me, Mr. Featherland. Though I can't deny my part in it either. How exactly. comforting. Look, Mr. Featherland, your investigation clashed with my business and my personal interests. I couldn't let it slide. That's all there is to it. Nothing more. You're expecting any other explanation in vain. You really are cold-blooded, aren't you? Not my fault. I'm a crocodile. <laughs> it has nothing to do with you being a crocodile, madam. Whatever you think. So, what can I help you with, gentlemen? Uh, so, did we stop here last time? I don't want to go into that. Yeah, most probably. Before you alert your wildcat, we're not here to arrest you, ma'am. We're not even here to confront you with anything. Why then? To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I simply want to know why. Yeah, the answer is frustratingly simple, Mr. Featherland. You'll be disappointed. Try me. I have a contract with Mr. Wessler. And your investigation infringed certain terms of that contract. That's all. Contract, huh? Is Natasha the subject of this contract? You sold her to Ibn Wessler, right? That assumption is offensive. So? Yeah, I'm not true. going to answer that, Mr. Featherland. No. I knew it. You know, sister, you could be a famous crocodile. You're still just a snake. And I hope snakes will forgive me that I mentioned them in the same sentence as you. I'm truly sorry you feel that way, detective. Maybe one day your opinion will change. She just tried to kill us. You know, Mr. Featherland, I was growing rather fond of you two. I'm sorry. Don't take this the wrong way, but we don't need your sympathy or your pity, Zavos. Just take care of yourselves when you finally face Mr. Wessler. I hope... Uh, I think... We were about to go... Zara Cloud... Newsstand Weekend House... Yeah, I think we were about to go there. I mean, I played the game like yesterday and I still forgot where I ended it. So sorry about that, but uh, yeah, I think we should just go and see if our Damn, friends we're late. are still alive. I don't see him anywhere. But that jerk's here. Yeah, the famous scribbler Tim in the flesh. He must have seen something. And because he's here, he must have caught a whiff of a serious case. We should interrogate him. Oh, let me be the bad cop, boss bird. Permission granted. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hey, old pal. Could you help us? I don't... Uh, excuse me. Have you seen where the raccoon... Nothing. Okay, so then guy they say an us. animal's just like his car. Does that mean I'm old and rusty? Well, you said it. What about you? You don't even have a license. That's just it. I'm special what? and fresh like a spring chicken. No, like a moron. What kind of cop doesn't have a driver's license? Anyway, let's see. Hey, Timbo, my old pal. Hey, uh, hello, boys. W what a lovely welcome. You're not scared to see us, are you? <laughs> Who? Me? <laughs> what are you thinking? I I'm always glad to see you working. Especially together like this is the legendary chicken police. 
What the hell's going on here, Tim? That's exactly what I was thinking. You see, what the hell could have happened here, right? Very strange, indeed. Where's Zip, Timbo? Keen observation, boys, because that's the most exciting thing about the story. Let me guess. A ram and a bobcat appeared and took him with them. Well, uh, you could say that if it happened, but it didn't. Then what? <laughs> Isn't it great? Here's the twist. Oh. Start talking, Tim, or we'll have to see if you can really fly. Come on, Sonny. I was supposed to be the bad cop. Shut your beak, Monty. <laughs> hey, hey, quit playing tough, will ya? You know I'll help you even if you don't threaten me. I always do. Mostly. Start battling. Just answer the question. Have you seen anything weird around the river? You mean the smoke and burning ship? Exactly. Oh, no, I haven't seen that. <laughs> what do you know about Madame Zavos, Timothy? What's the old hag up to these days? I only know what everybody does. She's rich, she owns a brothel, allegedly she used to be a spy, and she's an enthusiastic supporter of the Crown and the Royalist Party. What else? Well, I haven't heard anything else, I swear. She's surrounded by secrets. She was a spy, you know. Although... Yes? A little bird told me she's been entertaining quite a lot of foreign guests recently. I mean, real high-quality VIP guests. Wow. Who? From where? Well, I don't know, but allegedly, she's welcomed patrons from Stavonia, Averia, and even Nautica. Basically from everywhere that matters. And? Well, that's all. You know I can get into everywhere, but even I give the Nile a wide berth. Those wild <laughs> girls are capable of anything protecting the madam. Trust oh, me. Yes. Yeah, we've noticed. First of all, Madame Zavas is a horrible spy if everybody knows that she's a spy. Uh, secondly, I would really love to know more about the lore of this world, the different countries, what happened to them, and not just bits and pieces, I mean more. Like I could visit the library and go through some books or something like that. Anyway, let's get to the chase. So, what about Zip? I'm telling you, I don't know. He was already gone by the time I got here. Why are you still sniffing around? Uh... I was uh, trying to make that fella talk over there. What, the old fly guy? You speak, insect. What if I do? I'm educated, you know. <laughs> All right, Tim, my patience is gone. It's time you start singing like the songbird you are. Hey, that seabird. Okay, okay, back off. We're old friends, aren't we? Exactly. No. That's why I haven't smeared the walls with you yet. Ouch. Oh. Timbo's a douchebag, so it's not hard to draw the truth from him. Uh, I hope so. Impressions douchebag. <laughs> Come on. So uh. what the hell are you doing around here, Timbo? Uh, all right, I confess, but you'll be surprised. I was looking for you, boys. The whole town's talking about you. Really? I'm swelling with pride. Everybody's whispering about the chicken police being back together again and that you've already turned the whole city upside down Great news. What else do they say? That you've threatened Ibn Wessler's sweetheart Natasha then trashed Madame Zavas's brothel <laughs> hard stuff Really? I'm not surprised. Oh, and the best you set fire to a ship, too <laughs> Yeah, right. Ah, and one more thing a poor girl was found dead at Natasha's place after you visited there. Is that so? And you believe all that? Well, I'm a journalist, Sonny. It doesn't matter what I believe. Yeah, exactly. Right. Journalists. Yeah. Uh, Have you seen anyone sniffing around here? Two cops came for Zip. They came and went. Uh, taking Zip with them, obviously, and didn't do much else. They weren't looking for anything. And what's strange is that Zip went with them voluntarily. How do you know that? 
Uh, I know Zip, and so do you boys. If he didn't want to go, he wouldn't have made it so easy for them. Ain't it the truth? Sure is. <laughs> That was a good question, I got a minus 20 for that. Okay, thank you. I love the inconsistency of this game. What did you tell them? Did the cops take anything? What did you tell them? Me? To the coppers? <laughs> Those guys avoid me even more than you do, Sonny. Right, I can understand that. What can I say? Occupational hazard. <laughs> even more minus. What happened okay. to Zip, Tim? Okay. When I arrived here, the hop dog was already closed. Zip wanted to shoo me away, but I managed to persuade him to talk to me a little. Uh, we're old friends, Sonny, you know? And uh, I have this personal charm. Oh. Yeah, right, the uh, charm. Get to the point, Timbo. Uh, okay, okay. So, he was totally crazy. Uh, I've never seen him like that before. He was flustered, flailing, and talking absolute gibberish. He must have said something, since you're such great friends. Well, he just said he'd go to the only place where there are even bigger scoundrels than those that are after him. Really? I can guess where he meant. I didn't have a clue. Anyway, after he closed the dog behind me, and then the cops came and took him away in handcuffs, I came to the conclusion that all of this makes no sense. Zip, you clever son of a bitch. Why? Oh, what is it? Oh, tell me. You just keep your beak out of this, Scribbler. I think I've got an idea about what our little friend's up to. Timbo loves to brag, and it's easy to approach him through his ego. Best if we ruthlessly exploit that. Working on a new front page article, eh? Well, if a specific celebrity couple's willing to give me an interview, then uh, maybe I am. Don't even dream about it, Timby. <laughs> These uh, two cops. Who were they? I didn't notice. You know, you guys all look alike to me. Oh, sorry about that, Sonny. Uh, no offense. I mean, you and Marty are the exception. What an honor. Did you maybe write down the license plate of their car? Why would I? Because you always pay attention to the small details, and you're not that stupid. Well, I did pay attention, but it didn't make sense for me to write it down, Sonny. It was a cop car, you know? Sorry. Eh, uh, never mind. Timbo, you pay attention to everything. Did anyone else come here? Besides the coppers? Yeah, a ram and a bobcat, in fact. Mm -hmm. But you just told us it wasn't them. W wasn't them what? I didn't say they took Zip, because that's not how it happened. Don't make me mad, Tim. We're really not in the mood for this. Hey, I I'm only telling you the truth. They stopped here in a fancy big car, uh, looked around, then left. Zip was no longer here. Neither were the coppers, okay? Mm -hmm. Tiny Tim is a true fan of ours, and it's time to finally use that to our advantage. Help your old pals, Tim. What was Zip doing before they took him away? Hey, you're trying to grease me up with all that sweet talk, Sonny Honey. Of course <laughs> not, Tim honey. Tim. We're old pals. I'm sure we are, but I don't remember you telling me that without an ulterior motive. But you know what? I don't care. Feels good anyway. I'm glad to hear that. So... Zip was acting crazy. He was running around, knocking over everything, and throwing things away. Then he suddenly disappeared into the kitchen. I guess that's when he made the call. Because soon after that, the coppers arrived. 
And in between? Well, I didn't see him in between. Why didn't you go inside? He's your friend, isn't he? Well, I tried, Sonny. The door was closed. I, I knocked, even yelled. You know how a yelling seagull sounds like. <laughs> but nothing. I think I have a hunch what that was all about. Good for you, Sonny. Zip was hiding something in the dog, right? Uh, what do you mean exactly? Well, you tell me. You're good old friends, aren't you? Well, that's right, Sonny, but Zip's not the kind to easily share his secrets. But now that you put it that way... That's more like it, Tim. Tell me, what do you know? I don't know what it could be exactly. I mean, maybe it's not even relevant, but I'm sure Zip was trying to get rid of something when I arrived here. What and where? I don't know, okay? I, I already told you too much. If Zip hears about me telling you all this, he's never gonna talk to me again. Tim, unless we find Zip, he's not gonna talk to anyone ever again. Not in this life, at least. <laughs> I want to retry this. Yep. Timbo's a douchebag. So what the hell? All uh, really every grade that you really. Oh yeah. Ah. Is that? Uh, I'm a. Yeah. No, I don't remember. But I think the sniffing wasn't good the last time. And why so. were you looking for us here, of all places? You offend me, Sonny. I'm your biggest fan. I knew the hop dog. So it was a lucky get. Uh, some. Okay. Mm. Out with it, Tim. Who? Well, any decent journalist has connections everywhere, Sonny. So have I. So? You don't think I'm gonna betray my source? What do you take me for, a rat? Sorry, I mean... What happened to Zip, Tim? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. He must have... Well, he j really? Yeah, I yeah, did... Yeah. Zip. Why? You just keep Timbo loves to brag. And it's... Easy. Heard any juicy got Natasha performed your new song tonight. It was a blast, I heard. And a uh, poor little Bambi died. Oh, and a ship was seen burning and sinking on the times, but <laughs> you already know that. Not only know it, we even felt it. That all? But it could fill a full issue of the Clawville Chronicle. Isn't that enough? It's more than enough, Tim, old pal. <laughs> As you're so well informed. Well, they say she's kinda angry because someone trashed her brothel. Oh, and that someone was allegedly you and Marty. Yeah, you already told us. Good story. Anything else? With a little more truth in it. Allegedly, Ibn Wessler's men were seen around the brothel. I have a hunch that they were the same two guys that came here, too. Gee, that may even be true. Mm-hmm. Timbo, you pay attention to every besides the coppers? Yeah, a uh, ram and a bobcat in yeah, fact. Don't, don't pay. I um. Help your old. Uh, of course. I'm glad. And in. Well, I. Why did. Well, I, I think. Good for you, sir. Zip was. Uh, I, well, that's. Uh, well, uh, why? I don't know. Tim. Uh, yeah. That was actually good. Yeah, I mean. 
I won't redo it if it's like 80-90%, but when it's just 60, I mean, I want to know some more information. So... Let's see the clues. He's hiding something, yeah, that's pretty obvious. Um, I will probably have to get inside. We still have three people to go. No new places. Codex. Nautica. Okay, so let's... Look at this mess. Looks like he was in a real hurry. Or was trying to erase his tracks. Probably because he was trying to hide something. But where? And most of all, what? Let's take a good look around. Okay, let's check this place around. Look at this. I'm looking, but what the hell could it be? No idea, Marty. Guess it's best if we ask Have the owner himself. That? Where do we find him? Well, Timbo told us he's with even worse bastards than the one chasing him. That's it. The Parliament. No, Marty, but close. Then, no way. The police department. Oh, yes, Marty. Zip yeah. is at the Clawville City Police Department. Could it be that simple? And that wild? Well, yeah. the cops took him. So it's obvious that he called the cops by himself to scare away Wessler's henchmen. Timbo was right. Doesn't he know half the police is in Wessler's pocket? He probably does, but this was his only chance. Uh, then he really is in big trouble. So? To the PD, then? Well, yeah, I haven't got a better idea. Believe me, I'd love to have one. I actually found the clue on the first try. I mean, I just accidentally, I was like messing around. <laughs> That's, that was a lucky find, but let's see what it is. What's this? Ooh. Why did you keep. Yeah, I mean, it's like a hospital tag that you have on your wrist, but what would be the point? Oh, the numbers, the numbers, the protein numbers. It, it, it's like the numbers from that, uh, that uh, page that we got with those names. Do I still have that? No, damn it. Anyway, let's check out this place. When we get over this whole mess, I'm gonna take you to a concert. No, you won't. Yes, I will. Swear. Yeah, well, good luck with that. You'll see. Just wait. Yeah, exactly. Okay, the poster is nothing so cool. Ugh, I wouldn't dare touch them. Okay, then we won't touch the doodles. The king. Good question. Huh, what insult? Okay, so what else do we have here? Marty already looked through it. Nothing interesting. Oh, good to know. Ooh, a nice pancake with hemp seed, chocolate, and black onions? I'd rather have somebody pull my beak off. Ah, you used to be more daring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, and my back didn't hurt either. 
Furry heavens, it's depressing being around you, boss bird. <laughs> Ooh, maybe a peanut souffle with faux meat. Oh, stop it, Marty, before I get sick. Ugh, you're just a boring old man. I'd rather be boring than dead. Anyway, let's talk to him. Greetings, pal. What can I get you? What are you doing, Marty? A nice hot cup of coffee? Maybe some toast? Ooh, our strawberry jam pancake is divine. You must have mm, hit your head pretty bad. Jam. Yes, sir. One coffee and a turbo milkshake with extra vanilla and millet powder coming right up. Ah, oh, furry gods, help me. Please don't have a nervous breakdown, okay? <laughs> Did you find something? Nothing. Or, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here, but nothing important to us. A pity. Whatever that mangy raccoon tried to hide must still be here. Or not. Anything? It's still nothing. But I'm starting to like it here. It's like a new job. New life. Well, if this case gets plucked up, you'll find yourself looking for a job. So enjoy it. Ha, 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 ha. Anyway, I think we got what we wanted, so... Have you found what you were looking for? No, Timbo, but we wouldn't tell you even if we did. Ah, but you have. You are an open book to me, Sonny. So, uh, thanks for the intel. Be careful what you're writing, Timmy boy. I'm a cop for only the next 121 days. After that, I can gut you if I want, and get away with it. And when did you being a cop stop you? He has a point. Just yep. keep a low profile, okay, Timster? Okay, okay, I get it. My beak is sealed. Zoop. Hey, Timbo, what about the old fly guy? Did he see something? Yeah, maybe he did, but he's not talking. He didn't even speak when the coppers were asking him. And not even when one of them kicked him and the other spat on him. <laughs> Tough fella indeed. Those fuckers. The fly was silent, no matter what. After they left, he just picked up his guitar and started strumming like nothing happened. Poor bastard. If I only knew who they were. Then what? What'll you do? Beat them and spit on them? Like they did with this fella? They deserve it. Well, that's one thing, Marty, but huh? things don't work that way. Anyway, let's see. Where can we go now? The police station won't be the obvious choice. What else can we do? The weekend house, but why? Sweltering my nose. Zarko. Stand. Question is, could there be any new development in these places? Well, let's take a quick peek. Okay. They are still here, nothing changed. Try not to burn down the whole We can't promise. Okay, so nothing here. Please, leave. I'm sorry, Toots, we can't do... I can't even go to Zyvas now. Okay, so nothing here. Uh, I was there at the Zarko. Why not? Oh, the ladies. Always the ladies. Thanks again, pal. I oh, don't even... So nothing here either. Uh, let's check the newsstand. Oh. See? He's here now. That's interesting. Oh no, wait. The last time I was here, then he was here too. So I think that still nothing changed. Tell me, lads. What do you need? Just your eternal... Okay. So all secondary places are irrelevant. So let's go to the police station. 
fucking furry hell. So they know we're still alive? And I'd like to do something about it. Concentrate, Marty, for the God's sake. Can you drive like you're not a fucking lunatic? Shut up and shoot, you big feather pillow. How, how do you reload? We could only hope we'd arrived in time. If they'd taken Zip to the interrogation room, the hole as we called it, and beaten the truth out of him, we'd lose the trail and end up in a I'm dead sorry. end. I... It was time to be fast and ruthless. Chase? God damn it, Zip. Why couldn't you stay out of this? What happened to the car chase? I mean, uh, I was not really paying attention to the uh, health bars. <laughs> So, did I win or lose or, or, or what? Ah, look who's here. The top of the cops. Idiot's luck. They must have gotten soaking wet because of those holes. Sometimes I wonder how these two are even still alive in a city like this. Wonders of the world, Marty. Hey, guys. Beautiful night, huh? Maybe a little wet, but, uh... Well, to be honest, I'm soaked to the bone. Maybe the spikes. Shut the fuck up, Royce. And you, don't you <laughs> better than this? Nah, nothing. We love clowns. Ah, piss off, chicken. Martin. Yes, Chief. Do you know what I've heard? I have no idea, Chief. You think I'm stupid, birds? N no, we uh, we don't, Chief. What the ever-loving fuck do you think you're doing? Uh, Chief, if I may... Uh... Sonny, shut the fuck up! You're not on duty, you're suspended, if you remember. So I'm not your chief right now. Oh, we just stepped out for a coffee, Chief. Then we saw something suspicious at the Czar Club, and we investigated it, and, um... Suspicious, right? You investigated, right? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Do you take me for a fool, chickens? And what do you know about the burning ship that lit up the entire times? Burning, uh, what? <laughs> Wild lords, that, that sounds awful. Don't play innocent with me, Santino. You both stink like you're in deep, deep shit. <laughs> well, you don't think we had anything to do with that, do you? I don't know. But if you do, I will find out. You better know that. I swear, Chief. <laughs> I've had enough of your swearing for a lifetime. Get the fuck out of my sight. Yes, sir. Have a beautiful day, Chief. Don't let me see you again, Santino. Or... I'll try not to be seen, Chief. I'm not your Chief. Get lost. Ah, okay, he's still alive. That's good, that's good, that's good. I'm really not in the mood to... Let's go through... Oh. Do you know anything about a girl named Debra Ibanez? <laughs> you mean the Bambi whose body was found in Natasha Kutsenko's weekend house with huge red letters on her back? Don't call her a Bambi. So you knew her? Just fleetingly. Anyway, I don't even want to know. I don't know much about her. Moses and Plato are on that case. Thanks for the intel, Mon. Anything else worth mentioning? You were at the scene, right? We? <laughs> of course not. Sonny, you can't lie to me. You just can't. Is this some kind of interrogation? Just leave us alone, Monica. You're an open book for me, Sonny. Remember that. Guess who we had the chance to meet? Madame Zavos, the legend herself. So you're that lonely? I didn't think that was your thing, Sonny, but you know what's best for you. We were there to investigate. Of course. And were you successful? To be honest, they beat us and tried to burn us alive. Inside of a sinking ship. Wow. Busy night, right? 
Even for you. Yeah, so, uh, what do you know about the madam? Eh, nothing much. She's not had any run-ins with the police recently. Of course, because half the PD goes to her. Well, I'm not gonna say anything about that. Obviously. Look, Mon, we suspect Madame Zavos is in cahoots with Ibn Wessler. Any idea why? No, but those two mean trouble by themselves. I don't envy you, boys. Seriously, any ideas? Get out while you can. Right about immediately. Well, you're kind of right. We can't, Mon. We gotta see this through to the end. Famous last words. <laughs> well said. Hey, Monica. Hey, boys. I hear the city's on fire since you're back together again. Not yet, but all is not lost. Metaphorically, I mean. So? We need some information. Of course I'm busy, and of course you need information. But I'll help you. You're an angel. Yeah, I know, Marty. Anyway, you two again. Say, Bosco, what's all this about, uh, Zip? Yeah, if only I knew. This idiot called us on himself. He told us we have to take his statement. And what does he want to confess to? I don't know yet. We still can't get it out of him. But we're taking him down to the hole soon. There, he'll sing like a little bird for us. <laughs> no pun intended. Would you Obviously. mind if we asked him a few questions before that? You know, just for old time's sake. Sorry, boys, but you know the rules. The rules, right. More like blood boil. <laughs> yeah, more like blood boil. So sorry. Sorry, boys. I can't let you do that. You know, protocol. You and protocol, Bosco? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. That's the case, boys, like it or not. Stop harassing the witness. Well, what can I do? Sorry, guys. Mm, yeah, what can I do? <clears throat> A busy day, sir. Sonny, you think I'm just joking, right? Speak to me one more time, and I'll fire your ass. Uh, understood, sir. Sorry. I hope this doesn't count. Get the fuck out of my sight, Santino. Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Not gonna happen again, sir. Did anyone ever tell you you're a real pain in the ass, Sonny? Only my mother, sir. Sorry, boys. You and Pro... That's the kid. Well... So... We have no business. So what can I do here? Some shooting practice can't hurt, Sonny. I'm sure you're rusty to your bones. Oh, you think so, eh? There's one way to find out. The good old map. That's because only that I ran out of bullets. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Well, at the end. Okay, that was enough shooting, so let's. No, seriously, what can I do here? Angry blood boiling. 
Zip H. Murphy. Do you believe he's really that scared? Or is it just an act? Zip's a good actor, but he's not that good. If Wessler's henchmen are after him, he has good reason to be afraid. So, we're in a bind now. We have to get our buddy Bosco away from Zip if we want to have a word with him. What are you thinking? I don't know yet. Tonight, the heart of the station is beating incessantly. That was beautiful, boss. The hound of hell in the flesh. I don't think any kind of devil would be brave enough to get a dog like this son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, so how can I make him go away? Because that was like a hint. We have no business there. Okay, okay. Did you ever notice how much bigger the lion and the fox are than the other animals? You know, maybe all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. Oh, that's so huh. rebellion. So that's why our king's a fox and not a sheep or a bird, right? It's maybe a little late, but you're starting to get it, detective. <laughs> Seriously, what to do? What to do? Don't you have anything more important to do, Bosco? I do. But Blood Boil ordered me to guard good old Zip here. He wants to question him himself. Oh, wow. Then it's time to say goodbye to the Trash Panda. We may be seeing him for the last time. <laughs> You're probably right, boys. Don't drink that shit, Marty. It's bad for your health. Sonny, you're bad for my health. True. What? Yeah. Good evening to you, too. Sorry, boys. I can't let you and Pro. That's the key. Well. Uh, what is. Oh. When did they bring in the trash panda? Not even an hour ago. You're just in time. They haven't taken him into the hole yet. Yeah, I can see. Listen, Mon, uh, would you do us a favor? Can I be honest? Not really. <laughs> oh, just a small thing. For old time's sake. Me and my big heart. So, what do you want? Call Bosco over here for some reason, okay? So that we can have a quick talk with Zip. Okay, I guess I can do that. But you owe me one. Well, thank you somehow. I promise. No, no promises this time. Shoes. Shoes? Size 35, high heels, black. Oh. Um, yes, ma'am. Good. Hey, Bosco. Yes, ma'am. Come over here for a second. Right away. <laughs> this is too easy. <laughs> Not really. Hello, Zip. <laughs> Hello, boys. Uh, what's up? We were trying to visit you, but guess what? You were nowhere to be found. Yeah, I don't get it either. But suddenly the cops appeared and... Uh... Cut the crap, Zip. We talked to Tim. We were at the dog and at Bubo's, Zip. Two meatheads were talking about gutting a rat. A rat? An informant, Zip. We immediately knew it was you. Isn't that flattering? <laughs> I can explain, boys. <laughs> My life was in danger. These lunatics want to kill me, and I have no idea why. Uh -huh. They wanted to cook us, Zip. We're lucky to be alive. Then we walked our feet to the bone and almost got shot to pieces just a couple of minutes before. What Sonny means is we're not in the mood for bullshit or raccoon shit. But boys, I have no idea what they want from you. I don't know what they want from me either. We have time, and by the looks of it, you have too, pal. So start telling us what you have to do with all of this. Bubo doesn't have a high opinion of you, Zip. How do you know him? You see these stitches? His weight. All of them. Ah, I see. My condolences. Eh, he's a good friend of mine. But the word friend is misspelled in his dictionary. Uh-huh. What do you think about this, uh, paper? I've seen better, Sonny Boy, but that's not paper. Do you know what it is? At first glance, it's canvas. A piece of a painting. 
but it's too small and too blurry to make anything of it. So, still nothing. Well, thanks anyway, Zip. Anytime, boys. Are we done? Not really. Have you ever been to the Nile, Zip? Oh, I wish, man. But my kind can't get in there. Why, did you? Right in the madam's room, if you're interested. Oh, so that's why you look like that. Bingo. <laughs> did you know that the place has ties to the Wessler Empire? That place has ties to everything and everyone in Clawville, boys. Even to the royal family. I'll bet my tail on it. So, we were just about to listen to some sweet music when, um... Didn't that damn jukebox break all of a sudden? Oh, damn it. Damn it indeed, <laughs> Zip. There was a wristband behind it, with numbers on it. 984-237-22, to be exact. What? All that from memory? How the hell? I have no idea either, and it scares me too, but that's not the point. Tell us about it. That is, if you want to leave this place on your feet. Okay, okay. You got me. I'll talk, but only if you promise that the cops won't know about this. Do we look like we're on duty? Good point. Oh, we can question him at last. Zip is a real opportunist. He's trying to turn everything to his advantage. But we're gonna turn the tables. I will try. Uh, okay, we are starting from bed already. Uh, who did you escape from? Uh, who did you escape from? And why here, Zip? Why? <laughs> because I like living, that's why. How did you know they were coming for you? I got a tip off from a friend that I should pack my things and go if I want to live. But I had nowhere to run. Yeah, you know me. The hop dog's my everything. So you thought you'd be safe here? Of course. If it's people are everywhere, but, uh, eh, maybe it's harder to get rid of me at the PD. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Shh. Yeah. How did you manage to piss off Ibn Wessler? I don't know, all right? I don't have time for this. Sing like a bird, or I can't guarantee your safety. I did something for him, that's all, okay? A tiny little favor. You know how it goes, Sonny. Animals like Wesler make a living out of these kinds of favors. Tiny little favor, eh? Wesler's kind don't send assassins after someone for tiny little favors. You have no idea what's going on in his head nowadays, pal. Fella's gone totally insane. Probably. What did you have to do for Ibn? I never hurt anyone, all right? Let's make that clear right now. I never mm -hmm. said you did. I just had to get rid of a package for the boss. That was the job. Quick, clean, simple, right? Yeah. What kind of package? A very heavy one. Dead bodies are kind of heavy, Zip. How did you know it was a dead body? <laughs> I didn't. I was bluffing, but uh, thanks for the answer. You lousy chicken. Zip's a secretive little specimen, but knowing his past, it's no surprise. I must take advantage of this and trap him with it. <sighs> so, a dead body, huh? What kind, exactly? How should I know? What am I, a butcher? A zoologist? You still know something about it. It was wrapped up entirely, okay? I didn't see any of it. It was, uh, I don't know, average. Like you and me. Scaly, hairy, furry, feathery, or bald? What kind, exactly? Hey, I don't know, all right? I told you it was wrapped up. If they let you out, what do you think will happen? I don't know, okay? 
And maybe it was a stupid idea coming here, but this was my best stupid idea. <laughs> maybe I'll win a few days with it. He's on or a few <laughs> hours, more likely. If you help us, maybe we can cover this whole mess up. You mean you can be bought, Sonny? <laughs> what a time to be alive. The unbribable Santino Featherland. I'm suspended, Zip, and I'm talking chicken to raccoon. Oh, I see. You're a foul foul. Why did you keep that wristband? Because it seemed important. And because... you know me. I'm trying to turn every situation to my advantage. That's the way Zip works. How, exactly? Who knows? It seemed important. It just fell out of the body bag and I thought... Mm -hmm. Look, this shit seems important, so uh, why not? That's why they want to kill you. I yeah. have no friggin' way of knowing that. Why don't you ask them, huh? What happened to the body, Zip? I don't know, Sonny. All I had to do was drop it in an abandoned part of the hive. Where starvation's most prevalent, I guess. Where insects fight for their survival, right? I couldn't have found a better way to get rid of a corpse myself. All that fresh meat must have been gone in a matter of minutes. Fuck, I don't know. I didn't stick around to see what happened. Ugh, you make me sick, Zip. You would have done exactly the same thing in my situation. Anyone would have. I got the order, I did what I had to. I wanted to survive. Yeah, that's even for you. Blackmail. Yeah, something like that. Zip may be secretive, but if he manages to open up, he's also honest. He's not trying to change the subject anymore, so I only have one thing left to do. Ask the right questions. Um, which would be that? Hmm. So, he wanted to blame it all on the insects. Why would he do that? They're easy prey. Yeah, I get it. Insanely simple, Sonny. Ibn West was not the only one who takes advantage of the tensions, you know. It's the easiest method of sweeping things under the rug. I've heard that Westler's trying to break into the substitute meat industry. Surprised? What do you think will happen if Wessler saves Roachtown from starvation with a new, cheap, and accessible faux meat product, eh? Boom! He's gonna be a hero. And yeah, maybe he'll get voted into the Council of Twelve. Clucking hell. I'm asking you for the last time. What's with the wristband? I honestly have no idea, Sonny. It simply fell out of the bag when I threw it down in the alley. At first, I wanted to leave it there, but then, uh, well, you know me, huh? And that's the whole story? That's the whole story. At first, I thought it was some kind of, uh, code. But on a wristband? Eh, it's usually an ID number instead. Like on prisoners? Exactly. But I know from experience that prisoners don't get bands like this. Not in Clawville. It looks more like something from a hospital. Yeah, maybe you're right, Zip. While we're at it, was it Dr. Bubo who gave you the tip-off to get out of the hop dog? Yeah, it was. Why? Thanks, Zip. You've helped us put some vital pieces into place. Well, that's great. That didn't help me, Sonny. I don't want to rot in here or end up in an alley of the hive. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. You gotta help me. Be glad I'm not charging you as an accomplice to murder here and now. Just keep your head down. Understand? I will, boss bird. I will. That's more like it. So you're telling me you have no idea what this is? It's a wristband. I see the same thing as you. This was the only thing left of the dead body. And me, you know me, they don't call me sticky fingers for nothing. 
So you just took it. Maybe for some blackmailing? Who knows? Maybe it just hurt my sense of justice. I wanted to know who I buried. <clears throat> You're a real bastard, Zip. A real first-grade bastard. Should I say thanks? Thanks. Just lay low, Zip. Real low. Thanks for the advice, Sonny. So, where to next? Where did that wristband come from? I got bad news, Marty. I only know one person who knows about medical stuff. Oh, no. We were just there. Sorry, partner. Boobo again. Hey, uh, Bosco. Get lost, Sonny. Can't you see I'm talking to Monica? Right, boys? Unfortunately, we know you. So spill the beans. You wouldn't dare to threaten me, would you? Who would you rather sing to, Zip? Choose the lesser evil, Zip. I know. I'm the boss. Hello, Ursula, dear. Oh. oh, what's the rush? Is there something wrong? 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 That dim-witted, insane, ragged old stinky owl. <laughs> That's what's wrong. Whoa, whoa. It's all right, Ursula. Just tell us what happened. What happened? You happened. And Wester's goons. It was supposed to be the only day of the year we could have relaxed a little. We're sorry, Ursula. You're right. Like I care, Marty. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of the bitter old owl, and I'm tired of waiting. And? Never mind. I'm going. This time, I'm going for good. Hang in there, Ursula. And if there's anything we can do to help... Anything? Of course there is, my dear. I never want to see your faces again. <laughs> Ouch. I'm going to try to talk to the old owl. All right? <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, and uh, Ursula, thanks for all you've done for us. With the car. You know, I'm starting to regret it. <laughs> that was... rough. Yeah, but understandable. I only see Bubo once a year, and <laughs> even that's way too much. A lot of people feel the same about us. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. true. Definitely. Oh, here's Bubo, but uh, uh, let's uh, let's leave the talking for the next episode because we are running out of time. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Goodbye.